Right then, let's talk Alejandro Garnacho, a player who's this season had a brilliant start. And ever since coming to Manchester United and coming through the academy, he's been an absolutely fantastic player. I'm going to be talking about why he should be starting for United, an overall summary of his start of the season, and a real in-depth reason why I think he can be one of the best wingers in the league. I think you look at his performance yesterday against Brentford, absolutely fantastic. And I think the fact that Ten Hag has put so much trust in him, he started over 30 games in a row last season for Manchester United. Um, like absolutely fantastic player, someone who has a lot of potential to go on as well. And the glimpse that he's shown, he's so technical, so creative, and has so much ability to go on to be a top Manchester United player. Obviously, he has he has that left wing spot on lock. He can play also right wing as well. He's got a lot of versatility in him. I think the main attribute that I've seen develop from Garnacho this season is his defensive ability, and that's something that obviously you don't really associate with the winger, but. You have to improve as part of the game, and I think Ten Hag, I remember in one of the games, he brought him on just to defend. I think it was the FA20 game where he, it, the commentator heard him say, defend, 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 and he couldn't defend. Um, ultimately, we conceded, but I think with Garnacho, the main the main threat about him as well is his 1v1 ability. He's absolutely fantastic and that. Now, you look at what he can offer to a United team. Obviously, last season, he was deemed more of an impact player, and people thought he'd be better off the bench. He started a few games this season for Manchester United, and he's had... A great impact in them. I, um, as I said, the full 90 he, um, against Brentford, he was absolutely brilliant. He showed a constant dominance um, to really cause a threat for for, for United. Um, he also showed a lot of confidence, a lot of potential to go on. And I think the real the real thing with Garnacho is he plays with a raw ability. He doesn't really care. He keep trying to score goals, probing the defences. He had so many chances the last game, so many shots, so much. Um, ability to kind of go on and do better so that's that's what I'm really happy with Garnacho I think he has got a lot of improvements still in this game I think there are certainly weaknesses in this game but what he's shown so far the glimpses have been nothing but sensational and I can't wait for him to kind of go on develop and be a better Manchester United player which we know he can be um, as I said he's fearless he, he plays with his with the heart on his sleeve he's a passionate 19 year old and you look at if you compare him to a Rashford, he's he'd very, very close to him. But if you compare him to an Anthony, I think, and a Sancho, who's obviously still at like United, but on loan at Chelsea, like they're two different sort of players. And I think it's tough playing at Manchester United. It's a big club. There's a lot of pressure. But Garnacho's done such a good job at really, um, really not really caring about the pressure. He scored a goal in the FA Cup final. He scored a goal in the Community Shield. He scored big goals for us this season. Um, and I think it's just right to talk about him because he is a player with a lot of prospect. Um, and I do really think he should be starting on our right hand, the so left hand side for United. Obviously, Rashford he plays there as well, and that's his main position. But I think you have to find a way to either start one of Garnacho and one of Rashford on on the wings. And for me, right now on performance, it has to be right. It has to be Garnacho. Sorry, I think what he's shown so far this season, a constant threat, scored goals, got assists, um, a playmaker. And then there's no reason why he shouldn't be starting. And at only 20 years of age, as I say, he's going to get better. He's going to make mistakes, but he's going to learn. And he's also going to be better. He's doing it in the best league um, in the world, um, in the Premier League. And I think he has um, all the ability, all the potential to go on and be a top Manchester United player. So that's really it. I did want to summarise. I think he has been classed this season. I think he has improved massively since last season and defensively, offensively and as a whole all-round player he has massively improved and I think he can become a key part of really what Manchester United are to build. Um, I, you know, I'd look at some of the wingers we've had over the years. We've had Anthony, who else have we have? Sancho, as I said. Um, like He just eclipses them. We've had Alexis Sanchez, like Garnacho for me is so, so good and he's still young. He's one of the best under-23 players in the world and um, I think he gets overlooked quite a lot. Um, and he is massively underrated to what he does to Manchester United in games where he might not have as many goals and assists as some players. He definitely does find a way to create chances. And that's something I'm really happy about with Alejandro Garnacho. So let me know your thoughts in the comments um, about Garnacho. What do you think the future is with him? Um, obviously, reports that he could be leaving United and going to Real Madrid in the future. But I certainly think he's a player who Manchester United massively do need. Um, and what you can offer at such a young age, he can only get better, in my opinion. But thank you for watching. Hope you did enjoy this little video on Garnacho. Um, and yeah, let's see what happens going forward. I'm going to do one on Dilip probably as well. Um,
yeah let me know your thoughts thanks for watching peace